Hi, my name's Fiona Brooks. I'm from Threefold Consulting and I'm going to lead you through an exercise which is based on a practice called journaling to step into the field of the future. It's licensed by Otto Sharma of the Presencing Institute. I originally encountered this practice as part of the ULAB, that's the letter U dot L-A-B, leading from the emerging future an introduction to leading profound social, environmental and personal transformation. It's a massive open online course run by MIT and if it's something you haven't encountered I highly recommend you look into it. So far it's been run every year since 2015 and it starts usually in around September and has been free unless you want to get a certificate. You can find the written instructions to this exercise in a free downloadable document called Finding Your Why on my website threefoldconsulting.com.au So we're going to begin with some journaling. I'll ask you a series of questions and then we'll move into a meditation and then return to journaling again at the end. I'll pause briefly after each of the questions and I'd suggest you, you pause the recording at that point, write down your responses, and then when you're ready, hit play again, and we'll return with the recording. You'll need to find yourself a quiet place, somewhere you're going to be uninterrupted. Have a chair, enough space to move around in front of the chair and to either side, probably about up to about five paces, all clear with nothing that you might trip over and have ideally a journal and a nice pen or at least um, quite a bit of paper and some pens to write down your notes. Right, when you're ready, we'll get started. I'll ask you the question, I'll pause, you pause the recording, write down your answer and then start the recording again. Question number one. Over the past days and weeks, what did you notice about your emerging self? Over the past days and weeks, what did you notice about your emerging self? Question two. I'll ask each question twice to give you the best chance of hearing them. Question two. Who have been your guardian angels or helpers in your life's journey so far? Who have been your guardian angels or helpers in your life's journey so far? Question three, crack. Where do you feel the future in your life and work right now? Where do you feel the future in your life and work right now? Question four is about frustration. What about your current work and or your personal life frustrates you the most? What about your current work and or personal life frustrates you the most? Question five, happiness. What are your most important sources of energy and happiness in your life and work? What are your most important sources of energy and happiness in your life and work? Question six. Helicopter. Watch yourself from above as if in a helicopter. What are you doing? What are you trying to do at this stage of your professional and personal journey? Watching yourself from above as if in a helicopter. What are you doing? What are you trying to do at this stage of your professional and personal journey? Question seven. Another helicopter. Watch your collective journey, that is the journey you're sharing with significant others from above. What are you collectively trying to do in the present stage of your shared journey? What are you trying to do collectively in the present stage of your shared journey? Question 8. 
Given your responses to the questions above, what questions do you need to ask yourself? So given the responses you've given so far, what questions do you need to ask yourself? Question nine, listen to your younger self. If you look at your current situation from the viewpoint of you as a young person, at the beginning of your journey, what does that young person have to say to you? Looking at your current situation from the viewpoint of you as a young person at the beginning of your journey, what does that young person have to say to you? Question 10. Footprint. Imagine you could fast forward to the very last moments of your life when it's time for you to pass on. Now look back on your life's journey as a whole. What would you want to see at that moment? What footprint do you want to leave behind on the planet? So imagine if you could fast forward to the very last moments of your life. Looking back over your life, what would you want to see? What footprint do you want to leave behind on the planet? That's the end of the first round of journaling questions. We're going to move into a meditation. So put your pen and paper to one side. Seat yourself comfortably in your chair in an upright position with space ahead of you and to either side. Sit upright, close your eyes and rest your hands in your lap. Feel yourself connecting to the earth through the soles of your feet. As though you're growing roots into the ground. Feel yourself connecting to other living beings through your heart as though you have beams of golden light shining from your heart to theirs. Feel yourself connecting to the sky as though a thread is extending from the top of your head and gently drawing it upwards. See if you can hold all of those sensations at once, the roots from the soles of your feet into the centre of the earth. Golden threads of light shining from your heart to others. And a thread extending from the top of your head, gently drawing it upwards to the sky. Now, Visualise a gate into the first field of the future in front of you. This gate could look like anything. Have your eyes closed. Just imagine that you're standing in front of a gate. Well, right now you're sitting in front of a gate. Visualise it as, clear as clearly as you can. It might be something you can see through it might be solid, it might be tall or short, whatever it is, just hold it in your mind's eye. Now, I invite you to stand up, literally stand up from your chair with your eyes closed. Reach out, open that gate to the future and cross the threshold by making two steps forward. Notice anything around you as you step through and notice how you feel in this first field of the future. You might already have some revelations or you might be in a transition. Look around you. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? What do you know? Now beyond this field of the future is the second field of the future. 
If you wish, you can take another two steps forward now into the second field of the future. If the second field feels more significant for you, stay there. Or, if you prefer to return to the first field, take two small steps backward. Look around you with your inner eye. What do you notice? As you gaze around the field of the future, where in that field is your real place, the place you feel most drawn to? Identify the direction, turn towards that direction, and if you want, take two steps in that direction. Step into your real future place. Notice everything around you. And notice your connection downwards to the earth, upwards to the sky, and horizontally to all things surrounding you. Notice how you feel different in this field of the future. Who are you? Having stepped into your real place, who is your real self? Feel the connection. Turn around towards the chair you were sitting on earlier. Open your eyes a little bit and look at the empty chair for a moment. Imagine the person who was sitting in that chair a few minutes ago and imagine it was someone different from you. You know the person well. It's the other part of yourself that's still on the other side of the threshold. You know that person has very good intentions but is struggling in terms of the next steps and how to move forward. Empathise with that person. If you could give that person sitting on the chair one or two pieces of advice from the place you're standing in now, what would they be? Empathise. Feel the advice arising from your heart and speak it from your inner voice now. Pay attention to your heart again and see if there's another piece of advice arising. If it does, speak it with your inner voice. When you're done, when there's no more advice arising, open your eyes, take a deep breath, And then return to your chair and write down the advice you've just given to yourself. We're going to return to journaling now. Again, I'll read each question twice and I suggest you pause the recording after each one to write down your responses. So question 11. From the future point of view, what advice have you given your current self? That's really what you've just written about. From the future point of view, what advice have you given your current self? Question 12. Return to the present and crystallise what you want to create, your vision and intention for the next three to five years. What vision do you have for yourself and your work? What are some essential core elements of the future you want to create in your personal, professional and social life? Describe or draw as concretely as you can the images and elements that occur to you. So, crystallising your vision and intention for the next three to five years. What are the essential core elements of the future you want to create in your personal, professional and social life? Describe the images and elements that occur to you. Question 13. 
Question 13. Feel the connection to the human community that is present across the planet at this moment. What is our collective highest future possibility? What could we be an instrument for? What could we collectively create in the next three to five years? So connecting with the human community across the planet right now. What could we collectively create in the next three to five years? Question 14, letting go. What would we have to let go of? What would you have to let go of to bring your vision into reality? What's the old stuff that must die? What's the old skin of behaviours or assumptions, etc.? that you need to shed? What are you going to have to let go of to bring your vision into reality? What old skin do you need to shed? Question 15, prototyping. Over the next three months, if you were to prototype a microcosm of the future in which you could discover the new by doing something, what would that prototype look like? So what could you do over the next three months to test out and discover the new by doing something? Question 16. People. Who can help you to make your highest future possibilities a reality? Who might be your core helpers and partners? So question 16 is about who might be your helpers and partners in creating your highest future possibilities. And the final question, 17, is about action. If you were to take on the project of bringing your intention into reality, what practical first steps would you take over the next three days? If you were to take on the project of bringing your intention into reality, what practical first steps would you take over the next three days? That's the end of the practice. I hope you find it as powerful as I do. And if you feel that you'd like to connect with me, feel free to reach out at my website, threefoldconsulting.com.au. I wish you joy on your journey.